Ahoy shipmates, this is just going to be a quick video to show you some of the uh, effects I was talking about last week. I did these orcs on the last Friday's live paint along and I said I'd do a kind of finished one with the like rust effects and dirt and stuff. How am I going to dirty these guys up because as you can see at the moment they're all pristine and clean, which is very un -orky. So we're going to do that. This to, and tonight on the live, I should be doing starting our four point wall band from Griffin Beast. So that's going to be tonight's paint along. We'll be doing that, and then over the next coming weeks, we'll get the whole wall band done. Okay, so I shall crack on with this video. Let's get these orcs down a day. Okay, for this first bit I'm going to be using the Typhus Corrosion. This is a good old Games Workshop one. And what we're going to do, don't use many good brushes that, just a bit of medium, just to get my brush wet. and. We're looking to anywhere there's going to be dirt and grime. This is kind of going to serve us well. Let's just make that looking dirty. But there any crevices and anywhere where there's going to be grit. This is kind of like a, it's got a bit of grit and a bit of texture. Um, this not so much because the pot's running a bit low and I've watered it down a little bit, but if you buy a nice squeaky new pot of it you can have little bits of sand and grit and stuff just run it the whole thing well i've done it on there if it's a little bit too much for you what you can do is get a little bit of medium or a little bit of water just run it on there so it runs away from the high point again can you see what's happened there yeah bit around the steel toe caps we're not too worried about covering up the metal effect because we'll be sorting that back out so yeah just bash a few on there and I'm gonna go for the whole batch like that and I'm gonna get it right up into there This is for the um, more sort of gunmetal and silver areas. You can put a bit on the on the goldy brassy bits if you want, but we're going to do that with some different stuff. So don't completely cover an area. Let's get some more light there. There we go. See his helm there. I'll kind of just dabbed it on again if you if it's a little bit too much for you don't worry about it just wash a bit away but we're going to go back over it with some other effects anyway so don't panic too much okay well i'll crack on with that and i'll be back in a sec okay so that's pin pot on so once that's drying we're going to move to this next technical paint which is Nikola Oxide, I probably pronounced that wrong. These technical paints are really good, but they need a really good shake. They all, I mean, these are the old pots. I, I do tend to keep the little ones hanging about. Okay, so what we're gonna do, I like watering this down a little bit as I work. So, smaller brush, just a little bit of medium. Just see, brush is wet, and all those like brassy gold bits. We're just gonna let it run like round the rivets, drag it down a bit so it looks like it's been dripping. Just a little bit in these vents. Look, can you see that? Yeah. I'm just going to run it down the grooves on these bullets. Just 
orcs just don't look after their gear. Unless they get some bully somebody else into doing it, I suppose. So I've watered my brush, bit of mead, bit of the uh, oxide. Anywhere you think can water can sit and uh, give that ver verdigree effect. So I think he's got the gold on him, so I don't bother with him. I think less is more of this stuff. So just run those rivets there. And again, I'll put too much on for a sec, like I always do. Run the brush out and just wick it away until you're happy with what's there. Do remember though, it does. It's very water. I'm using a very watery concentration here, so a lot of this will disappear. So if there's a big pool, oh, pardon me, don't panic too much. Just think about how it's going to run down from where. It's so it's like a rivet and then it's water, so it's gonna run down the barrel, run down the bit of metal it's on. So, around rivets, around edges, around vents. This is your buddy. And that one there, on his spike on his helmet, it's gonna been dripping down onto the back of his helmet. There we go. Just have some fun with this bit. Around those rivets on his shoulders. Okay, well I'll work back through and I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so that's that done. So while the oxide is drying, I'm gonna go back to do working on the uh, dirty bits. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna use um, Army Painters Dry Rust. But instead of dry brushing it, I'm going to water it down. So I'm going to get a good blob of that. That's just my uh, dip. A bit more. So on one edge of this really watery. I'm going to leave that edge kind of quite strong. And I want this edge really, really watery. And what I'm going to do, where those dirty patches are, I'm just going to dot a bit of that around. When the watery stuff and a little bit of the thicker stuff over the rivets. And rather than just brush it on a line, I'm just going to dot it. You know, I've um, put that corrosion stuff. We don't cover all the corrosion. We just want dots of brush showing through, so it looks like it's been wet. Down there's your saw blade there. Just going to let the watery stuff just run into the groove there. just adjust the thickness on you this isn't a wet palette it's just like a the ordinary palette it's that plastic card stuff I've got a bit round the grip there we go it looks a lot at the moment but it will calm down a bit once it's dried Who knows how an orc's kept a grenade around long enough for it to get rusty. You'd think they'd have just bunged it. They might have found it, I suppose. Yeah, there's some great rusty grenades over here. Let's go chuck them about. 
Yeah. So the most fun thing about panel is you get to do the orc voices. Much to the annoyance of the other players around the table. Which again as an orc player is just what it's about. There we are. Just a little bit more. So if you've got bigger areas like this, what you can do is take one of that thick area and do kind of almost like a dry brush but just sort of slightly wet so it's just a as if there's some areas where you've got when you get that corrosion paint it's very sandy at first and if you've got some really good textured areas like on the corners there you can see the brush just let it do its work Or you can get stronger like that. Another way to do different rust, and just use a very tip of your brush and just work it about like that. If you don't like anything, if it's too too strong, just water it down a bit, move it out, wick some away. Again, there's going to be one more process we do to this in a minute, so I'm not worried about putting a little bit too much rest on experiment get some on there so I'll carry on working around these bad boys and I'll see you when they're all rusty see you in a minute okay so we've done our rusty bits so now we're going to take some shining silver mm. yes use our little rush so those areas where we've got rust on what we're going to do just get a little bit of silver Almost like a be really gentle over the top, so it's it's like a, a dry brush. Or I, I think I used I used to call it over brush, and I don't know if that's a thing. So it's like a dry brush technique, just to bring back because when you rust gets some rust scraped off along like these edges, it like looks really shiny. So you don't want any too much of it. I hope you can see that all right on the camera. So it's like on anywhere where there's an edge or the rust is going to be rubbed off. It's going to look really shiny. So along these teeth of the saw blade. You say you just want some silver, a little bit of silver on your brush, just just enough to Do some like edging on it. Maybe catch a few rivets that have clubbed with your scratched his precious rust off. Then when your brush does get a bit dry, then you can just do a little bit of dry brushing as well. Why not? But I think if you did a whole panel dry brushed, it'd be too much. Just want to touch those little bits in. So edges and just a few random touches of the brush. So just work your way around. That's what I'm doing there. Mm. 
Let me get those boots because we did mess their boots up a bit. Just give it the eyeball and see if you need to add a bit more. There we go, that's what we do. Let's do a little bit more on camera. So concentrate on the edges and corners of stuff. On these bigger areas of rust, you sort of almost like stipple it on. Yeah, I think it's going to probably be enough of a demo in it, I think. So, what I do is I'll get these finished up, get them lacquered. Do some stills for the end of the video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, hit the notification bell, comment, all that sort of stuff. Um, I hope that's been informative. And those that have been coming along on the Friday night paint alongs, I'll see you later to start on that saga box. I've not touched it yet, so we'll have like an opening unboxing and uh, start like to prep so we can get it all prepped up tonight and see where we go radio so that's pretty cool and i'll see you in the next one cheers shipmates